I just arrived at my first stop in Bavaria and oh my word did the temperature drop. Jeez, it's cold and raining. It was cold when I left Stuttgart this morning, but oh God, has it gotten cold. So please notice how clean this McDonald's is because every McDonald's I've been to in Germany so far has been very clean. All right, here I am in Augsburg in Bavaria, and I've got about 30 minutes until my next train, which is going to take me into the Alps. And I just thought I'd show you what a typical German city looks like when it rains. Now, this is the main train station here in Augsburg, and I'm going to be honest and tell you, I don't really know where Augsburg is. I'm going to have to go back and look at it on a map. But you'll see that the train station is under construction, and that's because all these years later, Germany is still rebuilding from the war and there's so much money in the economy now that there is reconstruction and upgrades going on in every city, every town throughout the entire country. All right, so my next train leaves in about 15 minutes. I guess it's time to start heading toward the platform. Just to show you the difference between traveling by train in the United States and Europe, here's a list of the departures for just today. And it takes up an entire poster. Those are the departures leaving this train station today, and this is not even a major train station. Oh, but oh yeah, that's only half of it. Here's the other half. Keep in mind that these are only trains that are going from one city to another city. They're traveling distances. These are not subways. And I did a quick count and there are 300 trains leaving this train station today to various other cities. And not only in Germany, but in Austria, Switzerland, and I think I saw a few going to Italy. So yeah, definitely there is much more train travel here in Europe than there is in the United States by a long shot. And here's the little train that's gonna take me to the Alps. Much, thankfully much they have the heater on. Oh, much better, much better. so I don't know my exact location, but I do know that I'm somewhere in Bavaria with my mask slipping off my nose. And yeah, I was just sitting, sitting here in my seat looking out the window with the countryside passing by as the mountains in the distance are approaching. And I can't help but think back to when I was a little kid growing up in the Everglades, just west of Miami. And I dreamed of traveling and seeing the world. And w when I was in, there's my mask slipping again. And when I was in an isolation cell for 10 years, I used to fantasize about being able to travel and, and to go see, well, Bavaria or Baden-Württemberg or Austria or Switzerland. And holy crap, I'm doing that today. This is real. This, I, I, I'm, I'm smiling. I'm really smiling. I, I'm doing it. I'm really honest to God doing it. All the dreams are real now. And this is really happening. I am living the life that I always dreamed about. It's happening. This is amazing. This is amazing. at the size of this bathroom on this tiny little train. Look at how clean it is.
if you can tell from this video clip, but those mountains are now so high that they actually go into the, mount, uh, into the clouds and disappear. This is my first glimpse of the actual Cinderella's castle, Neuschwanstein. We're about two kilometers from the border in Austria. Okay then, after traveling nearly four hours on several trains to get here, and at the moment I'm, I don't know, two or three kilometers from the border with Austria, you can see over my shoulder a castle that was built by Ludwig II. It's called the Neuschwanstein. And this is the actual castle that Walt Disney used as a model for the Cinderella Palace in Walt Disney World in Orlando. I've been there a few times. As it turns out, all the tickets are sold out. They were sold out long before I got here. So I traveled all this way to be able to take pictures of it from a distance. But here's the truth. This is my first time in the Alps. And this is my first time in this area and the trip was amazing. It's gorgeous. So I'm probably gonna find a few places to take a picture of the, ca uh, of the palace. As you can see, it's rainy. It's been rainy all day and it's very cold. So, well, hell, I'm here. Let's take a walk around and see what we can see. Come on.